Welcome back once again, everybody, to Coog Center on YouTube. My name is Jeff Newser, one of the editors here at the site. Football season's back, which means our weekly video breakdowns are back, where we take you inside a play from the game the week before, try to explain to you a little bit about what happened, why it was successful or unsuccessful, basically just try and help you understand what happened, at least as best we can understand it. We don't always know exactly what's going on, but we can take our best guess based on what we see from the video. Today we want to look back at WSU's running game, which was wildly successful compared to last year. Um, no play in that regard was bigger than the fourth and five in which Teandre Caldwell ran for about 20 yards. Want to take you inside that play, hopefully shed some light on why it worked. One thing we know about running plays with WSU is that Mike Leach does not call a running plays. He calls in a formation, gives the quarterback some options, and it's up to the quarterback to see what's going on on the field, make a change into a running play if he sees something that he thinks is favorable. What he's looking for, this is his pre-snap read here on this play, how many defenders are in the box, and we'll talk about the box here in a second, how many blockers do I have? Obviously he's got five blockers, so he needs to see a favorable matchup in that regard. So here's the box, that's what we're talking about. How many defenders are in this five to six yard area on the other side of the line of scrimmage? In this case, Auburn had five. One, two, three, four, five. That's a favorable matchup for WCU. That's what they call hat on hat, one blocker on one defender, and if you can win those individual battles, you can pick up a huge game, because as you can see here, there's nothing here in this vacated area. The safeties are way back, obviously anticipating pass. Another way we can know that Auburn is anticipating pass is this. Look at the alignment of these defenders. The ends out here are outside shade on the tackles. That suggests they're just going to run upfield, rush upfield, try to get pressure on the passer. Your tackles here are lined up either head up, it's hard to tell, but either head up or outside shade on the guards, again suggesting a straight pass rush. And then you got this middle linebacker here lined up over Elliot Bosch. Um, he is trying to sell that he is blitzing, but in this scenario, it really doesn't matter that he's blitzing. It helps that he's not blitzing, which you'll see in a sec, but it doesn't really matter. You've got five on five. WSU feels like with their offensive line this year, they can win this five on five matchup, so Halliday checks into a middle run. Here's what it looks like at the beginning. I'm going to pause it here after about two seconds. Here we go. All right, so we're going to stop it right here. Here's what happens right after the snap. Look at the seal that you get here from the guards, Fullington and Dahl. See them? Sealing on the inside here, sealing on the inside here. Then Bosch has completely blown out this middle linebacker. In fact, when we show you the video again here at the end, and we run it all the way through. Take a look at this middle linebacker. He's backing out in pass coverage, except he realizes about a split second too late, it's actually a run, and Bosch completely, completely puts him on skates, and he ends up on his back about 10 yards downfield. Let me show you another angle of what's going on here with the blocking. This is from behind. Again, look at the seal here by Fullington and Dahl. Huge. All Caldwell has to do is run up the middle and then pick a side on either side of Bosch to, to run up. But by this point, these two blocks have already gotten WSU the first down. Bosch just makes it a 20-yard gain. So let's go ahead and watch it again, full speed again. Watch that middle linebacker if you want to laugh a little bit. And there's the middle linebacker going back on skates, ends up on his back. First guy who can make a play is a safety coming up, and by that point, it is far too late for Auburn to really do anything about it. This really was a great example of WSU using the running game effectively, using it when there were matchups that were favorable for WSU. Huge kudos to Connor Halliday getting into that play and having the guts to run it on fourth down. That's hard to do, but the matchup was so favorable, it was absolutely the right call. Paid off great for WSU, even though it didn't necessarily lead to them winning the game. But it was a wonderful play. For Coop Center on YouTube, my name is Jeff Newser. We'll see you next week.